that Mary would have chosen the path that she ended up taking. In fact, I think it's stronger than that. Not only would she not have chosen it, I don't, I don't think she could have even imagined the path she ended up taking in her life. Just think about it. Here she is, not just unmarried, but still a virgin and looking to have a child. And they have to go all the way from Nazareth to Bethlehem while she is nine months pregnant. And when they are there, she has to give birth in a barn. And then 30 years later, she will have to watch as her precious son is hung on a cross to die. I don't think she would have chosen that path. Sometimes you choose the path. Sometimes the path chooses you. You know, it's quite an experience that day when the angel Gabriel appeared to the Virgin Mary. It was startling, probably overwhelming for her. Luke gives us Mary's reaction to the angel in several stages. First, the angel appears out of the blue with this greeting, uh, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. To which I suspect Mary must have thought, Um... Thank you. You know, who, who exactly are you anyway? Uh, Mary, Luke says, was much perplexed. That's our translation. The Greek is really stronger than that. It means completely confused, very upset, discombobulated <laughs> might be the best English word for it. Uh, at the start of the story, Mary is discombobulated. And the next thing that the angel says to her is, don't be afraid. But, of course, you know how you respond when somebody tells you not to be afraid, right? You get even more afraid because then you know there's something to be afraid about. And the angel proceeds to tell her something that is certain to make her even more afraid. That virgin, though she is, she will conceive a child. And that this child will be called the Son of God. And will have the throne of David forever. Now, scholars tell us that Mary was, was probably young, but that doesn't mean she was stupid, right? I mean, Mary knows that, that the Romans control all the thrones in her time. Mary knows that there has not been a king in the line of David for hundreds of years. She also knows where babies come from and how they get there. And she knows what's possible. And she knows what's not possible. And this is not possible. And so she says to the angel, well, how can this be? How could this possibly be? You see, she's moved from being just confused to being downright full of doubt and, and challenging the angel. But God, the angel says, God has ways that we human beings can't understand. For with God, Gabriel says, nothing, nothing will be 